Are you fired up? 2008 Atlanta Corps member. 98 Corps from New York City. 95 from Los Angeles. 2007 Corps member from Phoenix. Chicago 9, it's our time! 1990 Charter Corps in Los Angeles. You see all 11,000 people here. This is the movement. We're all here together. We're all here for the same reasons. It gives me hope and it's an honor to be a part of something so large. And I feel like it's legendary. It is remarkable to realize how much progress we have made toward this vision in 20 years. And it is humbling to realize how much further we have yet to go. We give the kids with the greatest challenges the crummiest education, and then we say poverty is destiny. We know what works. We just don't want to do it. There is no longer any doubt that transformation, revolutionary schools can exist in every single neighborhood in this country, regardless of demographics. So today, we aren't asking whether we can make a difference through education. Instead, the question is, how can we ensure that all children have access to an education that unlocks their full potential. It's time for us to stop making excuses. I think there should be two types of people in education, teachers and people who help teachers do their jobs. And everyone else who's doing anything else should get out of the way. So I think it's a matter of whether the 11,000 people in this room are willing to take this mantle right now and go. For us to come and learn from elders and from folks that have been really important in, in what they've done, and they're telling us, the audience, they're like, no, we're in awe of what you've done, and we're in awe of what you're capable of doing. It's really powerful. It's inspiring and empowering, and I feel like I'm getting this energy burst from the next trek of this journey. Oh, this is incredible. It feels like the roof's about to come off the place, you know? It's incredibly exciting. It's really inspiring and empowering. Inspired? It's inspiring. Very inspiring. It makes me feel encouraged and motivated and proud to be part of Teach for America. Wherever we see change that is transformational for students, we see transformational leadership. Today has really re-inspired me to finish the school year strong. I think I'm living my life courageously, but I know I gotta turn it up a notch. Trying to figure out where I fit in, what role I can play in the process is a kind of a daunting task. But at the same time, knowing that so many people have gone forward, it gives me hope that, you know, I can be someone too, you know? I can be a game changer too. Collective impact means that if we are ever to reach that day we all talk about and work towards with passion and hope, we need each other to get there. I will live up to the expectations and hopes of the amazing students, teachers, and alums who made all of this possible. I will empower my teachers to motivate our students to take ownership of their learning. I will strive to be a voice for the kids that are getting lost in the shuffle. No matter your day job, there is a role for you to play. None of us is gonna be surprised when the woman sitting in the White House is a Teach for America alum. I thought we would go down fighting for the cause. But now I'm thinking we could really win, right? This is like, this is a new thing. We have 28,000 strong and thousands of supporters here today across this nation. We are the author of our story. Choose to be great so our children can truly be free. This is our legacy. Wake up everybody, no more sleeping.